What is up, YouTubes? It's Matt from Butcher Shop Taxidermy. I'm coming at you with a Matt and Chuck's Excellent Taxidermy Tips Solo Edition. The other day you may have seen me post a mannequin with fiberglass on the back saying I was doing a pedestal back for it. We'll call it bi bicycle seat. Um, I had a few people ask, why are you doing that? Most people like to cut a groove in the back of your wall pedestals or floor pedestals even and uh, then you tuck your tuck your height in and tuck whatever you're backing your mannequin with in. Um, this method saves a lot of time and a lot of fighting. You don't need to cut a giant slot in the back of your mannequin. You don't need to worry about any of that stuff. You can go ahead and finish the back like you would normal. You staple your uh, staple your hide around the, the, the off side of your mannequin like you would normally on a flat back mannequin. And then you take the fiberglass after you've made your bicycle seat, obviously, you can take and uh, I drill like six holes around it, whatever you want to do, six, seven, eight, as many holes you want to stick in it. But uh, then you can screw that into the back of your mannequin and that'll hold, hold it hold your uh, hide down flat while it dries like a giant card basically then after you're done drying you still have your staples in so everything's going to stay in place you can take that bicycle seat off and then you can upholster that and you stick that back on with bondo i'm going to take you through the process seeing how why not it's a good tip for y'all to have Chuck's done the video before. Once again, I'll revisit it. I don't mind revisiting it. It's something good to get out there. It's an easy alternative method for doing your uh, pedestal backs. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'll show you what we're doing. All right, stuff we're gonna need. Your Bondo resin. I, use, I always wear rubber gloves when I do this. I don't generally wear rubber gloves on a lot of stuff, but this one I do. I got my handy mixing cup here. And you're gonna need either some fiberglass sheet or fiberglass mat. Um, Chuck likes to do two layers of mat, which is fine, it works fantastically. It's been working for 100 years. I like to do sheet, just because I like my bicycle seat to stay a little flexible. Um, lately I've been doing both. It still has the good rigidity from the mat, but it's not super duper thick like when you do two layers of mat. So that's what we're gonna do today. First thing we do, we'll walk over here. Watch out, tripod. First thing you do, you take your heavy duty Sharpie marker and trace the pattern you want on the back of your mannequin. What this'll do, when you put your fire down, it'll pick up the color in your uh, from your marker on the back. And then you've got your easy pattern to cut it out all right so i'm going to set you back on the tripod and i'll show you how to do it all right you see i'm mixing up my resin i use about half of one of these little soda cups see when this stuff's ready to go it turns blue it goes from a pinkish red color to a clear blue all right so here we got the fiberglass mat. First thing I'm gonna do is put that down. You can tear it or you can just tear off a piece the size you need. Just put that down. As the resin leaks through, it'll stick to your mannequin. You wanna tap all of the air out that you can. And yeah, some of this will run through and down your mannequin. It's not a big deal. You peel it right off. It's not going to hurt nothing. So yeah, I think you can see how that's kind of coming through. close up here in a second.
and yeah, you'll want this stuff when it kicks, just as it kicks to where it's not hot anymore, where it's not tacky, you can go ahead and peel it off. It'll retain its shape, or you can just go ahead and let it dry. It'll be a little harder to get off. That's how I generally do it because I have a tendency to forget that waiting on resin to kick, it's like waiting for paint to dry, obviously. It's one of those things, you do this like at the end of your day and then come back the following day and you can peel it. Yeah, I mean, it's, some probably look at it as an extra step. It kind of is, but it saves you a lot of headaches in the long run. And then you get to smell that wonderful smell of resin drying, and who doesn't like that? <laughs> Alright, so there's my first layer down. I'll come in and give you a close up of that. You can see, oops, my camera's been around. Quick tour of my shop. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, there you can see that Sharpie came through the fiberglass sheet real easy, or the mat, I guess, real easy. I'm gonna put the sheet down now and you'll be able to really get a good look at what we're doing. All right, here goes the sheet down. I'm just gonna press it down on top of that. pick up most of that down layer, obviously. All right, so there that's down. Then you're gonna come back with your resin and just paint that on and it's gonna soak all the way through that. Make sure you go over your edge. dries like this it comes out nice and smooth and in theory if you didn't want to upholster it you could just paint it or whatever uh, the only issue with that would be if you're using it as your mat or your uh, card for your uh, back to dry you're gonna have holes in it but you can get around that by instead of using this as your card you can just card it down with cardboard or whatever all right so there's that now some more right there once again you know make sure you get all the air bubbles out I mean unless you don't want to if you don't care then don't worry about it but if you want a nice, smooth, even fit, it's gonna be tight. Make sure you get them bubbles out. All right, so that's that. We're gonna let that dry. And then uh, I'll show you how to pull it off. And I've got another one ready. I'm gonna, I'll show you how to upholster it and install it once we get this one pulled off of here so I can put the other mannequin on or actually be the other mount because it's a done mount all right guys I'll check back in with you here shortly thanks for watching all right so here you can see we've got the finished one I'm going to show you pull this off and I'll show you how to upholster this and reattach it as you can see, that'll dry it down super nice. That'll make for a really nice back once it's done. So we're gonna take this one off. All right, we won't need those anymore. Yeah. 
take that off as you can see that hide dried down super flat super nice here's the bicycle seat you can see it's got the contour of the back and this one was made of a double layer of the sheet you see it's super duper thin super flexible it'll go back in place really easy really nice so yeah let's go uh, learn how to upholster one of these guys it's super easy all right so here we go we're gonna upholster this i've got my uh, cotton batting already cut to shape you can do this with any kind of cotton batting i like to use the thin stuff just so it's not super bulky on the back you can use the heavier duty quilt batting it doesn't really matter um, so yeah first thing you're gonna do it's already cut to size so you take your hot glue gun and you are gonna put a I like to do about three to four inch strips at a time you're just gonna fold that over and get that like that it's pretty easy once you uh, start, it's not, it's not rocket surgery. All right, there's that side. And then you'll go back and do around the whole other edge and through the curve of the leg and brisket area once that's all done you take your material you're going to back it with i'm going to use this nice little plaid piece and you'll do the same repeat the same steps i'm gonna do that right now i'll let you watch and uh, then i'll show you how to attach it So there it is. There's a upholstered bicycle seat, piece of cake. Um, now I'll show you how to attach it to the mannequin. <clears throat> There's any way you want to, basically you can. You can use uh, any glue. Um, I use Bondo, that's the way Chuck and I do it. It doesn't matter. Um, you can use your uh, if you if you ever invested in one of these this is a great tool to have in your shop the great stuff pro this is the 14 um, the only drawback with this is it uh, takes a little while to kick bondo you can mix it a little hot and you can be done in five minutes um, this takes about 20 to be pretty 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 well kicked off um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite tools in the shop. If you haven't uh, ever used one, I suggest you try it. Um, for putting mannequins back together, it is the shit. Sorry for the fun language, but it works pretty damn good. Um, yeah, Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere has them. Uh, this is the expanding foam. Um, the other one that is better to use it's the adhesive they use it for uh, siding or flooring that kind of stuff it's in a yellow can that stuff's better it's harder to find you can get it on amazon um, locally this is what they carry so this is what i use it works just as well just you have to be more mindful because it does expand um, use it for anything setting your skull caps putting mannequins back together uh, habitat work this thing is awesome um, there's a couple other secrets that I don't know that I'm allowed to share about it as far as the use, um, but it's pretty, pretty cool tool. Sorry for the little uh, tangent there, but this is a cool thing. You should definitely try it. Once again, that's the Great Stuff Pro, the 14. Um, I think they run about 50 bucks. The the 13 if they still make them are a little cheaper 
but they're also cheaper made. They're they're all plastic. The 14's metal. It works fantastically. All right, back to business. Okay, so what we're gonna do to attach this is gonna use Bondo. I'm not gonna show you mixing Bondo. I'll show you putting it on the mannequin because I mean, you know how to mix Bondo. Now you take your Bondo that I mixed through the magic of video. And just gonna smear it on there. You can go onto the height a little bit. You don't have to. Just be mindful of where your line was. seat you can see where it was and just press it down on there like so and then take something heavy and that'll hold it there a little bit extra security if you want to Now, about 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes, whatever, that will be ready to come off. And then you also take your modeling tool and just go through right here. You pick your hair out from under it along the edge. Groove it back down while it kicks, just for something to do. watching please keep tuning in we love making these videos i hope you're loving watching them you guys are awesome please hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe and that'll keep you up to date with everything going on in my shop chuck shop um we have deer season kicking off here any day now so it's going to be getting crazy we'll have more hunting videos up We'll have more tips up, I'm sure, in the next few days. Um, I think I'm going to do another weight loss update here in the next couple of days as well. So there is going to be plenty of content. And you're going to want to stay up to date on what's going on. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in to Matt and Chuck's excellent taxidermy tips. Um, we'll catch you on the next one.